A lot of you guys have mentioned that I should probably build the Avengers Quinjet. Well, we're gonna do that. Oh wait, what's this? Is this an Infinity Gauntlet for a child? Oh, that was convenient. Actually, that's not really how it works at all. You probably know that by now. Anyways, we spent the last few days making this thing. Check it out. What do you think? It looks pretty legit. Oh, oh crap, one of the servos is... Oh wait. Oh, it's not glued on. Okay. I think we should go test this out in the parking lot. Okay, so it looks like it actually flies. We don't have enough space here to test right outside my new shop, so let's go to the field. Transmitter battery low. Oh my god, you're kidding. Right. Okay, so it looks like the transfer is getting ready to die. Let's do this real quick. I just want to see if it flies, then we can take it back and paint it and maybe discuss other options. All right, you think it's going to fly? Uh, maybe. That's not a very static answer. Oh my god. Look at it go. Like a broken egg here. It's not just going to fly a lot. Oh, it looks awful. But cool. It looks really cool. It does look pretty cool. Looks like the thing in the movie. Wow, that flies not so terrible. I think it needs a little more nose weight, maybe. But I don't want to risk stuffing it, so I'm gonna let it lay. Oh my god, it's not. Yeah, it's not so stable. All right, so the transfer's almost dead. So I gotta land this thing before I run it out. What? See, that is a success. Now, we could just paint it, but unfortunately the real one in the MCU has vertical takeoff capabilities, so... All right, I threw VTOL hardware in it. Let's see, uh, let's see if it needs tuning. Characteristics of you know sucking air and pushing it down. So we're gonna open up a hole here. I don't think these motors have enough power to lift this thing up to the ground. It's actually
Look at this. So I don't have the right propeller, at least till Monday. So I just doubled up. Because I mean, these are designed to turn bigger, bigger propellers, so whatever. Man, there's not a lot of thread there. Okay, um, unfortunately, I don't really have a whole lot of time to keep messing around with this. We're getting close, but the thing is, this thing really needs a lot more thrust. And the thing is, if you need more thrust, you need bigger propellers, and then it starts looking stupid. Or I could use this, which is a ducted fan, and put that in the wing. That's more accurate to the movie. But the problem is with that, now you need a significant amount more power to lift this thing in the air, and it just starts snowballing out of control. So, hey, what's that over there? It's a broken drone. Yeah, I think I think this is probably the easiest route to go. It would it looks definitely non scale scalistic compared to like the movie one because every one of the rotors here. But you know, like I said, the amount of plastic and junk you got here deflecting all the air stream from being sucked down and blowing down becomes an issue. So what we're gonna do is we're take this quad here, put motor arms out here, so there's motor here and a motor there, and back here in the clean air we'll put the uh, other set of rotors and it'll just be a simple quad quad airplane, and that should definitely fly. Uh, okay, I extended the uh, motor wires, so now this, uh, I'll we'll just tape it on test it. I'm not going to integrate it in here just yet. Is this going to work, Sam? Yeah. I plugged it in. You ready? Do it. Satisfying. Check it out, Sam. Look what I did. Looks pretty dope, right? It looks awesome. Awesome. Okay, let's see if it still works. I think it still works. Um, yes? You don't fly it in here. No, I'm gonna fly it in here. Wait, which one's the stable mode? Is this one? Down, right? Uh, sure, down. Okay, whatever. Yeah. yeah. It flies way worse for some reason. I don't know what that was. I, I, I was down on the throttle, the damn thing is still climbing. Well, that was fun. So we did a little mini skate, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, maybe you guys like that stuff. Maybe I'll keep doing it. I don't know. But anyways, we got the jet. It's a perfect day for flying. It's painted. It looks cool. I don't even know if it's going to transition. But I think it's time to do this. So you ready, Sam? Yeah, let's fly it. All right, you need to grab the other transmitter. Actually, no, I'll have you hover it, and then I'll fly it. Alright Sam, you ready? Let's do this! 
happened. Something happened. What happened? Something happened. The mount broke. Oh crap. You know what? This probably broke from all the falling off the ceiling and stuff because it's like crappy plywood. Oh, it did fall a few times. Yeah. Let's glue this back. All right, take two. Let's try again. All right, take off. Oh no, it wasn't off. Yeah, you don't cause problems. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> well, it was a valiant attempt. It sort of flies. I'm pretty sure it crashed. So let's go check out the wreckage. Hey, don't no, 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 no. oh. Yeah, you definitely broke it now. We're done. Oh. Oh yeah, it broke. I'm not gonna be able to fly yeah. out of that. I think we're gonna leave it as is. Oh, well that could have gone better. Um, yeah, so the combination of airplane and uh, vertical takeoff hardware in this was not sufficient for forward flight. It was just too heavy, basically. Actually, another thing was too, if you look laterally, this thing flew fine as an airplane without the quad stuff because of the additional weight, but also importantly, the lower weight because uh, all this quad hardware down there moved the, the um, vertical CG position much further down. So when I start off those motors, they basically try to push the nose down because that's really fighting it as it was flying through the air for the few seconds it did, and then it crashed because basically it didn't really have that much of a control. Anyways, so yeah, I would say it's sort of plausible that this thing could actually fly. It's all movie magic anyways. I really wish they'd you know, consult aero engineers about you know movie props, like in some movies they do, but this movie, they, I don't think they really did. But anyways, that's all, all I have for you guys. Oh, huge thanks to our sponsors for this, um, at least Lumineer and uh, Glacier Batteries. They kind of hooked us up with some stuff. And yeah. That's it. Oh, uh, there's more Avenger stuff down below or in the car. In the end, whatever you'll see, we did the Thor Ragnarok plane. You can check that one out. And that, yeah, that's that's all I have for you guys now. Ah!